All right, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be ventilation, more specifically positive pressure ventilation. So one of the things we need to consider when we're setting up positive pressure ventilation is where our opening is, where our vent holes are, uh, and how we're going to fill that, that space up with the pressure. So basically the, the concept is, is I'm going to have air coming in, and I'm going to have more air coming into that space than is exiting. And the whole idea behind it is I'm going to pressurize that environment inside, which is going to want to push the air out of our vent. So sometimes we get on scene, all right, go ahead and set up uh, for ventilation. And we just open up a bunch of windows and then set a fan at the front door. If you have too many windows open, we're never going to be able to create that positive pressure, that, that pressure inside of the building that's going to push air out. So it's important to know how many vent openings we have uh, and how much air we're able to push into that building to create that positive pressure. So one of the first things that we would do is, is set up a single fan. So on a single fan setup, we want to ensure that we're setting up the fan either in front of the door, at an angle to the door, whatever that might be, but in a position that allows for this cone to come out and fill that entire opening. Uh, we don't want to have the fan come in and be too close, because if it's sitting right here, we're only getting about half this doorway with that cone to fill. So ensure that we're finding that right distance away from that door opening that ensures that as I walk over here, I can feel that fan, that cone that comes out of that fan, is covering this entire opening. If we're covering that entire opening, then we're truly pushing all of the air through that entry, and we're not allowing for this to be an, an entry and an exit, kind of that bilateral flow. Uh, we want this to solely be a pressurized area that's holding all of that air and pushing it just that way. Some factors we need to think about is wind direction, uh, how much volume and uh, how much smoke we need to get out. And then, like I said before, is, is where our vent locations are actually at and how do we direct that smoke and whatever's inside out of those areas. So on a single fan setup, it's all about ensuring that we have the right distance, the right angle on the fan, ensuring that that cone covers that whole opening. Another way we can set it up is with two fans, with our second fan offset. Now with how this is set up right now, I can't really move both fans at an angle. But if this wall wasn't here, I could have both fans set up blowing towards the door at an angle and what that does is it allows for hoses electrical cords whatever that might be to go through this opening it really allows for that nice open space gets the fans off to the side so if you have a position that you can do that try setting it up where you have one fan blowing this way and another fan coming at an angle both of those cones going towards the door and covering that entire door Give that a try, see how that works for you. Um, for stations that only have a single fan, I'll make sure a second fan is dropped off for you so you can see how that works. Another option that you have is actually stacking the fans in line. By moving this fan here and keeping them in line, what we've done is we've started to move air, create that cone, speed it up, and then it hits a second fan and goes even harder. So what it's doing is really pressurizing speeding up that air and pushing a lot of air and volume into the building to make that pressure inside increase and push out our exhaust through the vent holes. So three different things to try. You know, the single fan set up right in front of the door, kind of the standard cone check to make sure everything's good. The second one to set up is you have two fans offset, both going towards the door, both cones covering it, but allowing for that nice open space in the middle. And then the third option is to stack two fans in a line and really try to just drive it straight in and pressurize the building with two fans in a line. While you're doing this, uh, try opening and closing vents on the far end. So opening up the other door, seeing down on that end, what kind of flow you're actually getting. Does it change? If I open up all the doors in the hallway, does it change how much air is being pushed out on the other end? Uh, Cause all those things are gonna have an effect on how we get really good ventilation. So uh, today's the day just to kind of play with some different configurations, some different uh, amounts of event openings, uh, some different options as far as how we can pressurize that building and get it to vent for us. Uh, another thing to consider is as we're running these fans, we want to ensure not only that that cone is covering the door, but that we don't have any obstructions on the back end of these. If we have obstructions on the back end, uh, what we're doing is we're limiting the amount of flow that we're getting through the fans. That can include us. So if I'm sitting here, as we're doing ventilation, let's say this fan's not here, but I'm just sitting here in front of this fan and I'm just operating it and I sit here the whole time, 
I'm limiting how much fan or how much flow this fan can actually push. So get the fan set, get yourself removed, step out of the way so that fan can do its job and get as much pull as it needs to really fill that space up. Uh, also leaves, tarps, debris, whatever might be around uh, can get sucked up into these. So it's really important to ensure that we got a nice clean area to allow these fans to really work to their best. Uh, again, today's your day to kind of play, see what works best for you and see what configurations you can come up with to fill this space. Thanks, have a great day.